Planet Coaster Console Edition PS5 review in 500 words or less. Let's go. Planet Coaster did one of the most powerful things a game can do. It transported me back to a time when I was about 6 years old building a theme park in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I'm sure my park was an absolute disaster but I thought it was great. It also brought me back to when I was 8 playing Trillville on the PS2. Another game developed by Frontier Developments. I don't have much experience with this genre but I can easily say that this is my favourite management game. So the game is broken up into three modes, sandbox mode which is quite self explanatory, career mode where you're dropped into a pre-built park and given increasingly hard objectives to get either bronze, silver or gold rank, and my favourite, challenge mode. This is basically sandbox but you have limited money. Some of the parks and challenges in career mode were interesting and the dialogue between the characters is surprisingly well done. It's a nice way to change up the pace. While I managed to build a profitable park in challenge mode, the ones in career mode were so much more aesthetically pleasing than my straight paths and squares theme park. The level of detail in this game is feckin amazing. Now a good portion of your time is spent in menus, looking at customer and staff happiness as well as checking your balance sheet to make sure you have enough money to keep your park ticking over. How you customise your park is quite amazing. There are so many buildings and decorations that all have a different theme. I opted for a pirate theme for my park because why the feck not? You can do all sorts of things like assign work rosters to different buildings so you can keep your high trained staff in the busier areas so they can handle the workload better. You can change the look of every single building too. And all this decoration has a purpose. The better the scenery, the happier guests and the staff are, meaning you can charge higher prices for rides, entries and food in pursuit of that beautiful cash. Cash that is used for the best thing in the game, roller coasters. Building your old roller coaster is amazing. What makes it so fun is the statistics. You can't have it be too scary or nauseating and you have to pay attention to the g-force your guests will experience and if any of these are too much no one will go on your roller coaster. Last thing to mention are the controls. I was surprised at how well they work on a controller. It took some time to get used to but after a few hours I was zipping around the menus. A great positive is the speed of the PS5. The game loaded so quickly which is a big problem for management games on console. That's 499 words. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all on the next video.